Yeah, I'm going to just ask you, uh, first of all, uh, to describe the changes at Brett Young. So if you can just kind of go over the board uh, changes, talk about you being CEO. I know there were some other changes on the board. Right. So if you can just describe that for us, that would be great. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, you know, this is, trans, you know, succession planning and continuity planning is something that we've been working on for a very, very long time at Brett Young. Um, you know, it's, it's, I guess, about three years in the making um, to, to release these changes. So it's something that it feels like we, I've been sitting on for a long time, but it's very exciting that we've gotten to a place where we can share it with the world. And uh, so effective September 1st, uh, Trevor Thiessen, who has been a longstanding um, director on our board, his tenure has come to an end, so he's resigning. Um, my father, who is also the chairman of the board, Lloyd Dick, is stepping down from his chairman's position and becoming a director on the board. Calvin Sontag, our active CEO, is uh, going to resign that position and he's moving into an executive chairman role on the board. And then myself, I'm stepping into the CEO role. So I would say a lot of the key players in involved in our business are going to remain, but they're going to be operating in different seats. So for you stepping into the CEO role after, you know, family company years, you know, your life you spent in this, now you're stepping into this leadership role. Describe how that feels for you. What is that like? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, uh, you know, it's an, a, an incredibly exciting time for me. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a business that I've devoted, certainly devoted my life to, and I have generations in my family that have committed their their time and livelihood to this business so you know when you look at brett young um you know 89 years in business almost a, a 90 year history three generations of my family have operated um in the ceo role and so i would be that third generation so i'm, I'm very excited uh to be in a position to move into this role and and what i would say is just our leadership team uh, that we have is exceptional and, and you know really all the staff that we have collectively that make brett young the company it is today um allow this to be very seamless and and you know the other thing i would add to that is there's a lot of planning and mentorship that has gone into this and uh it, it allows it, it has afforded me the opportunity to to be stepping into this type of position now your dad i mean he ran the company for a long time I imagine you sort of watched him work and learned learned a lot of your skills, not all, but a lot of them by, you know, having him as a mentor. And what were some some big lessons you learned from him over the years to help you in this, this new role? Yeah, you know, I would say one of the mantras that Lloyd always had, and it was very well known around Brett Young, is uh, you're growing or you're going. And so he had this belief that there was a constant pursuit of uh, improving the business. And, uh, you know, from a strictly economic perspective, you could look at it as, well, you know, revenue growth and earnings growth, well, that's essential for any healthy business. So you could uh, scale up and compete and, and employ more people. But I think he also looked at it from the perspective of uh, personal development and personal growth and looking at ways to potentially improve what you're doing or even looking at our infrastructure and challenging what is the status quo and looking at alternative ways that, hey, maybe we could do this better. And uh, so, that, so that mantra is something that has really stuck with me. And, you know, I'd say it's generally applied across uh, Brett Young. And we're not, we're not afraid to challenge what is, you know, the status quo in our business. And sometimes, it, you know, that challenge doesn't always lead to change, um, but it's an opportunity to at least evaluate what we're doing and consider other ways. What's big for Brett Young right now in terms of business, new opportunities, yeah. new products? Is, is there something, you know, maybe number top one, top two things that are on your agenda right now? Right. So, you know, we're a, we're a medium sized company in, in a business that's filled with multinationals. Um, so as it relates to selling a lot of the crop inputs that we do that serve Western Canada, as well as the northern U.S. states, um, 
there's there's farmers out there that can relate to that and they're interested in in buying more of these products that that we're able to bring to market maybe with a slightly different value proposition than some of the multinational companies may provide and you know part of that is having outstanding performance we need we need great genetics and you know thankfully at Brett Young we've cultivated some fantastic partnerships with other like-minded um, independent companies um, that share in what our potential vision could be. You, you see, when you're, a, when you're a multinational company, generally the genetics that um, come from your breeding, breeding program are the genetics that you sell all the way through your seed brands. Well, as Brett Young, we have the opportunity to tap into a series of different genetic providers and really bring the best products that we can find to the marketplace. You know, when it comes to our wholesale forage and turf business unit, which is actually our largest overall business unit, um, our customers like the value proposition of dealing with uh, a company that is uh, Canadian based, um, is basic in seed production, processing, packaging, cleaning, and some of the log logistical advantages that come with our location in Winnipeg in the center of logistical center of the country. So. We're able to serve um, North American markets very efficiently, and those customers are asking us for more volumes so we can have more of their shelf space. Uh, and, and then lastly, as it relates to our professional turf and reclamation business, that's a business where we have near national reach serving primarily golf courses, landscape customers, um, and other professional turf users uh, we want to build on our on our size in that business, where we are actually um, the largest the largest PTR business in Canada, and uh, we're we're continuing to invest in that space, looking to add resources to continue our growth. Mm -hmm.